If you're looking for a one-touch option in order to really boost the progress of coffee in your kitchen, you may be in for a bit of a treat today on Cafe Italia TV. Welcome back to Cafe Italia TV. I'm Grant and today I've got two great machines to share with you. The Gaggia Cadorna Style and the Gaggia Cadorna Prestige. Now these really are designed for people that like premium coffee equipment that really want to boost the luxuriousness of coffee in their kitchen, but who may be a little bit restrained to time. Now these one touch machines really do give the very best coffee with the very best equipment. So let's take a little look at the two and see how they compare. Now, first of all, we have the Gaggia Cadorna style. Now, this machine is not only elegant in its appearance, but robust as well. So to the very top of the machine, we have our bean hopper. Now, this is also micro adjustable with a key. So that means that not only can you fill it up with beans, but you can make those small adjustments in grind size to get the very best out of the coffee that you're using. We then have the all important LCD display. Now the beauty of this is that you can pre-program your coffee or choose the exact one that you want at the touch of a single button. Now this particular machine can make up to six different styles of black coffee and you can use that then in connection with your steam wand to start making your milk based drinks as well. Directly below we have our water tank. Now the water tank will enable a, a good well of water to go into the machine and it also keeps it tucked away and very neat and tidy as well. To the opposite side of the machine, we have a removable section for our used coffee. So once your coffee has been made, it will empty the puck into this and you can dispose of it neatly and tidily without a lot of mess. To the front of the machine, we have our water spout. Now this is really great because not only will you get the water and the coffee all coming out of the same place, but you can adjust this depending on the size of the cup that you're making. So for example, if you're making a longer drink, the cup will fit very nicely underneath this. But if you're making an espresso, you can simply pull down the water spout and it will reduce the gap between the cup and the spout itself. Now directly underneath, we have our drip tray. Now this can be removed nice and easily and with a stainless steel top, it looks really robust and fits great. So how does that compare with the Gaggia Cadorna Prestige? Well, let's take a close look at that machine to see how it compares. So again, at the very top, we have our bean hopper and you can still make those micro adjustments with that turning key itself. However, in front of that, to the top of the machine, we also have our heat tray. So you can not only store your cups on top, but you can keep them warm, ready to make your drinks. We have our one touch LCD display, which will enable you to make up to 14 different types of drink, ranging from your espressos and your black coffees, all the way through to your lattes and your cappuccinos. Now to the right hand side, we also have our water tank. Now again, this keeps the water tucked away and neat and out of sight. And you can simply fill this up and place it back into place to keep the well going. On the left hand side, we have our removable puck tray as well. So once the coffee has been made, again, it's gonna produce those nice clean dry pucks into an area that's really neat and tidy to keep clean. Now in the center of the machine, we also have our water spout. Now the beauty of this one is again, the same as the Gaggia Cadorna style, you can drop that down to reduce the amount of gap between the cup and the water spout. However, there is also one finer adjustment on this machine that makes it really, really usable. Directly underneath our water spout, we also have a small tray that we can remove. Now this means that you get even greater control over the distance between your cup and the water spout itself. To the left hand side of the machine, we do have an external hot water tap. Now the beauty of this is that it can be removed and one of the bonuses of using the Cadorna Prestige is that you can simply unplug this and plug in your milk jug. So this will enable you to froth the milk accordingly and make all of your favorite drinks in a really quick and easy fashion. Now, one of the differences with this machine itself is that it is put together in a bit more of a stronger way. For example, the drip tray at the very bottom does actually have two small clips, which will enable you to push and remove that drip tray to empty it. And it will simply click back into place when you need to put that back in. So it's kept really neat, really tidy, and everything fits the way that you would expect. So 
two very good machines, six fantastic black coffee types on the Cadorna style, and 14 different black coffee and milk-based drinks on the Cadorna Prestige. So the proof of the pudding is always in the eating. Let's check out how to use these to make our coffee-based drinks. We'll make an espresso first, then we'll look at one of our milk-based drinks. So we wanna start by pressing the on-off button at the front. This will then turn the machine on. And now we're greeted with this great TFT display. Now this is gonna allow us to look through all the different drinks that you can make, which on this machine is 14. So we have some of our slightly shorter drinks at the very beginning. We can then scroll through from the right hand side to find the exact drink that we're after. And you can even go into much longer drinks with this as well. And we can scroll back through them also. Now let's say we wanna make an espresso first of all. We wanna grab our cup from the heat tray at the top. Now the downside is this is quite a short glass. So in order to make this work for us, we're gonna to need to make a few adjustments so that this works on our machine. Now there's two adjustments that we can make here. First of all, we can remove our small support tray. This will then allow us to have a much shorter distance between the spout and the cup itself. And then if we need to, we can also pull down the spout so it goes a bit closer into the cup. Next up, we wanna choose our coffee. So we're gonna select espresso in this case. And this is where the beauty happens. Now, not only are you gonna be able to fine tune how you make this drink, but also you can save it so that it remembers how you like it the next time you come around to making the same one. So for my espresso, I wanna start by choosing how much coffee I have. So I'm gonna select coffee, and I'm gonna increase that to 60 mils. And I'll press the tick to continue. The temperature will then allow me to choose whether I want a higher temperature, a low temperature, or a medium temperature. I'll stick with medium. I can then choose how much coffee goes into this, how, many, how much physical grinds goes into it. And by pressing this button, I can either increase it or decrease the amount of physical coffee that goes inside. Once I'm happy with this, if I wanna save it, I press the lower left button, I can choose my profile, I'm gonna go with blue, and it's now saved for the next time that I wanna use this particular profile and make exactly the same espresso. So there's nothing left to do but to press the start button and then see my espresso come out in all of its glory. And there we have our perfect espresso on our Gaggia Cadorna. Okay, so remember, if you're not just into drinking black coffees or espressos, you can also make milk-based drinks. So let's go ahead and make one of our favorites on this machine. Now there's a couple of things that we're gonna to need to bear in mind in order to make this. Now with the Cadorna Prestige, we do actually have a separate milk jug. So first of all, we're going to remove our hot water spout because we won't actually be needing this for this particular drink. We're then going to put away our tray and we're gonna place our milk jug into the hot water spout. Now we need to first of all open it up by releasing the valve like this and we place it into the machine just like that. Just wanna make sure that our cup goes underneath the coffee spout and also through the water spout as well for the milk. So let's choose our coffee. Now we'll go through our menu. Let's try a cafe classic, the flat white. So we'll select our flat white. And again, it will allow us to choose how much physical coffee goes into it, how much milk is used. We'll keep that at 80 mil, that looks about right. How hot or how cool we want it. I'm actually gonna make this slightly lower temperature. And again, we can choose how much coffee physical coffee grounds goes into this coffee. Let's leave that where it was. And again, I'm gonna save this ready for the next time that I want to use this as well. Perfect. So let's look at how it brews our flat white. Perfect. 
perfect and there's our flat white so the next step for us now is to once again remove our milk jug and we can replace our hot water spout and now from the right hand side we can remove this to see our coffee grounds and they are nice dry pucks as well so it's easy to dispose of this coffee once you're completed with it and there we have it two absolutely fantastic machines from a Gadgia authorized retailer so if these feel like the perfect additions to your kitchen grab yourself one now from coffeeitalia.co.uk it's been lovely to see you all again can't wait to see you again soon take care